just did a full catch up chat while I did my makeup. My camera screen just went black and I was like, mm, that's so weird. Turned it back on, wasn't recording the whole time, was I? Honestly, probably a good thing because I was just rambling and rambling and rambling, trying to talk about 30 different thoughts that I was having at once and not getting one of them across properly. This always seems to happen when I don't vlog for a couple of weeks. I get this like inability to be able to talk to a camera. I need to like come back a new year better than I've ever been. And it's just like, that's just not, it's not how it works. That was honestly a good warm up for me because now I feel like I can actually string a sentence together because I would have hated editing me just saying um between every single sentence I say. 2024, happy new year. I cannot believe it's 2024. As everyone probably can't. I just like 2024, 2019 wasn't two years ago. Interesting. Basically since we got back, then it was Christmas, then obviously New Year's and now it's the 9th of January. I've just been putting things off, which is just not the energy we want to be putting into 2024. My apartment is a mess. I've still not unpacked so much because I moved in and then I left for four weeks and then I came back and it was Christmas and New Year's and now it's just, as I said, the 9th of January. And to be honest, a lot of it is unpacked, but I just want to organize my space. I've got some boxes in front of me that you can't see. Christmas tree has to come down, which I am sad about, but I do feel like it gets to a certain point in January where I'm like, okay, it's no longer, it's always magical, but it's no longer like magical. I just want by the end of this video and by the end of the next couple of days, I just feel so good about this year. I want to chat through my 2024 goals with you all. I just feel so organized. I hope that watching it also makes you feel that way because I find the way that a reset for the new year, prep for the new year will get me every single time. I love them so much. It just makes me feel like I want to get my life together. So I'm hoping that me bringing you along with my reset will not only keep me accountable because I feel like when I'm filming it, I like have to do it. And it also makes me work faster. But also hopefully if you're needing that little like kick up, kick up the bum to kind of get started, a bit of inspiration to clean, organize your space, because I feel like nothing clears your mind more than an organized space. For like the last week or two, I've just felt very mentally busy, and I know that's because my space is busy. Also, we're in a new home, and it still feels so new and exciting, so I just want to like really use that like excitement of a new space to reorganize and redecorate and just feel really good. I feel like I'm my happiest when my home is exactly how I want it to be, and that is the goal over the next few days. I also think I need to obviously clean all of this space first in front of me because there's just a lot of boxes and mess in front of me. But I think I want to make this my makeup spot, which I think is quite fun, like a little makeup desk. Anyway, I think first things first, I want to do just like a general clean. It's like the dishwasher. I'll give the kitchen just a general clean. Bobby has his new toy he got for Christmas. It's his pride and joy. Also, the last time you saw him, he had a cone on his face. He's all well and healthy now. Nothing makes me happier. Oh! Okay, but yeah, general kitchen clean because I feel like that's just like an easy first thing to start off with And I always feel like I get overwhelmed very quickly because I'm like I want to do so much But I'm so overwhelmed by it all so I do nothing I feel like starting off small with like something as simple as a kitchen clean That'll just like get me in the momentum of feeling like I'm doing things and being productive And then put some sheets on the bed because that is just the best feeling ever Isn't it? Perhaps the tree? I don't know Might write a to-do list actually first That's probably a good idea to just like get it out on paper <laughs> the cleaning We're heading to Lang's house for a meeting a little zoom call George is on it too so we just thought instead of all kind of like logging in and then all of us lagging separately from home on our own computers we'll just meet at her house and all log on together so we can just be in the one frame and then there's like less lag I tell you what I still cannot believe that I live so close to my friends now I haven't lived within even an hour of any of my friends for like three years or something at this point so the novelty just has not worn off that I can just be like do you want to go for a walk do you want to go to a workout class come over to mine for dinner or I go to theirs for dinner I feel like after not having it for so long it's such a novelty that I'm just not taking for granted and I don't think I'll ever take for granted again. I'll be putting out a song that I've had on repeat since I saw the movie. Seventy-three questions with Vogue. What are you most excited for for 2024? 
This is so on the spot. What am I most excited for in 2024? Excited if this is my first full year self-employed. Yes. Oh, just a bit of background music. My first full year self-employed. Yes. That's so exciting. I'm just excited to look at you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm excited too. I can't wait till I can talk about I was here for a little while. Um, which so, one have you done? Um, okay, let's go from the top. So I've done put that in your brain yeah, on, so yeah. that you've got that in mind. I might even reach out soon being like, when it's done, are yeah. you okay to look over? I think it's just like a nice thing to add. Yeah, I oh. agree. Just pulled up outside of What's it called? Can't remember exactly the name. It's something like Al Alicia Lashes and Brows or something. Because I'm going to get my lashes and brows done, obviously. <laughs> also, if you're wondering about my top change, I picked up a Gymshark puzzle from Lang's Place and I just tried this on because I was like, oh my gosh, the fabric of it is so nice and I love it. It's like the most flattering black ribbed top. And obviously it's from Gymshark, so it's like a gym top. But I feel like you could just wear it as like a basic black tee. I just feel like this length on the arms is so flattering. It's not like cutting me in. I love but I'm very excited to get my brows and lashes done. I'm going to get a lash lift and tint, which I think I have had once, but not for a long, long time, like definitely like years ago. And then just a brow sculpt. I'm very excited. I feel like summer is the perfect time to get my lashes lifted and tinted so I don't have to wear mascara. I'm going to the beach all the time. It'll just be really handy. So I'm very excited. Um, I do have mascara on and I hate myself for it. This lighting just all of a sudden gotten awful. I feel very annoying, but obviously we had that meeting. I didn't even think when I put my mascara on this morning that I probably shouldn't have. I really hope they don't hate me in there. This is the before. Obviously I have mascara on now, but I have nothing on my brows. I don't usually like to tint because I feel like I just look really like harsh when I have like tinted eyebrows. Just like a nice little shape. And then I'm kind of hoping my lashes look like this afterwards so I don't have to wear mascara. Anyway, I'm gonna head in. This is the after. I'm so happy with them. It really looks like I have mascara on right now. And my brows, I think I said before, but I've never had a brow lamination before. I've got my brows like dyed and waxed before, but never a lamination. And I was a little bit scared because I feel like I've seen some people, their eyebrow hairs are like fully just sticking up. And I was like, that's not really, really the vibe I was after, but this is like really natural. And she did say that this is their most pushed up that they're going to be. So I'm so happy with them. I'm not allowed to get either of them wet for 24 hours. So I'm kind of scared about taking the rest of my makeup off today. Surely just with a washcloth, we'll be fine. And there was a moment where I was kind of falling asleep and then I realized I was falling asleep. So I kind of like took a big breath in. And then I was like, I'm terrified of falling asleep and then waking up and opening my eyes, forgetting that I can't because I've got dye on them. <laughs> anyway, I started dinner. I'm really craving. I've been craving for the last few days salmon. Just the idea of salmon. I've just been like, fantasizing about. <laughs> just cut up some pumpkin and purple sweet potato. I just pop that in the oven. That'll probably take like 40 minutes. I also made quite a big batch of potatoes and pumpkin. I love ingredient prepping. So just having some cooked pumpkin and potato and chicken and stuff like that in the fridge so that if I'm ever like really, really hungry and wanting something quick, I've got something healthy prepared so I don't snack. I'm feeling very good about that. I'm feeling very fresh with my eyelashes and eyebrows and I'm happy that I'm making a good dinner tonight. I feel like, as I said, I've been reaching for snacks for meals. I also just unstacked the dishwasher that I put on earlier today and then restacked it. So I'm just feeling on top of the world. Like it doesn't take much. <laughs> it doesn't take much. Also, it feels so strange not having the Christmas tree up. We really moved in and I set up the Christmas tree the day after we moved in. Sam had never even seen the apartment without the Christmas tree in it. The space just feels so, I'll show you, open now. Look at this. I don't know what to do with this space now. I'm thinking I want to get a mirror. I feel like that would open up the space even more. I love the sound of their paws on the floorboards. It's so cute. Just popped a vacuum on it, but I finally ordered a bookshelf and I'm so incredibly excited to set up. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it and it's killing me. I wake up and all I want to do is set up my bookshelf and just like put all my books out. And I feel like I need a decent amount of time before I can set it up because I want to clear out all of this space. There's still quite a few boxes. Most of the boxes are my books, but I need to completely clear out this space before I can then build the bookshelf because the bookshelf will go there. It's like a corner bookshelf. Please excuse how messy this is. This will be clean by the end of this vlog. So at least if we can all kind of have the satisfaction. But yeah, it's a corner bookshelf, so it'll go around this corner, which I think would just make the space look so cozy. I'm just so excited to have a bookshelf and be able to just continue my little book collection. Speaking of books, this arrived today, which is perfect timing because we have book club tomorrow. It was my month to pick the book and I've gone a little rogue this month. This month's book, kind of December's book and then it kind of turned into January's book because we all didn't read it in December. This is George's pick and we're reading Red Queen. Book club, as I said, is 
this tomorrow. I'm 62% through. So I'm going to need to do a lot of reading tonight and in the morning to get it done. I'm not, I'm not stressed though. This is the book we're going to be discussing tomorrow for book club. But what I have picked for us all to read in February is the book you want everyone you love to read, which is a bit rogue, as I said, because we've never done a non-fiction book before. I found this one because we were in some bookstore in London. It was just kind of like displayed on its own table and the cover really just like grabbed me and like this is just a fun cover. And then the title of the book you want everyone you love to read and I was like interesting. It says life is all about friendships and the quality of those connections whether that's family, partners, friends, colleagues or most importantly yourself. If you can get those relationships on a functional and even keel then the other tricky stuff that life throws your way becomes easier to manage. In this warm practical and witty book number one Sunday Times best selling psychotherapist Philippa Perry shows you how to approach life's big problems. How do you find and keep love? What can you do to manage conflict better? How can you get unstuck and cope with change and loss? What does it mean to you to be content? Are other people just annoying or are you the problem? With a healthy dose of sanity, Philippa Perry's compassionate advice could help you become a happier, wiser person. And I just thought it's quite short, so I feel like it'll be relatively easy to read. And I feel like I always start non-fiction books being like, I love this. And it's not that I don't enjoy them. I really do enjoy them. I just, I'm really bad at finishing them. So I'm thinking, and hoping that having it as book club book, I mean, we'll have to finish it. The text is big. It's like just 200 pages. I feel like this is a really good book to, this lighting is awful. I also just feel like this will be a really fun book to discuss all together, write little notes in, annotate, and then kind of like go over points that we maybe learnt something or if we don't agree with something. I just feel like overall this will be a really good book to discuss together. If there's anything we love, it's a good book discussion. I'm very excited. I was gonna wrap them, but I've come to the realization that the only wrapping paper I have is Christmas wrapping paper. So I think I'm just gonna hand it to them, which is still fun. Oh, the pumpkin looks like it's burning. I always feel like a new oven, you never know if it's gonna be an extra hot oven or not. I'm still learning how to work it. Anyway, yeah, I still feel like it's fun to just get a surprise book. And I don't think they'll be expecting me to choose a non-fiction book either, which I thought was kind of fun. Just keep them guessing, keep them on their toes, you know? Anyway, I was not expecting this pumpkin and potato to be cooking as quickly, so I'm gonna put my salmon on and then eat dinner. <laughs> recent kombucha of choice has been modern family it just never misses it's just so oh, good and it makes me laugh every time here's some information about best <laughs> red queen was her first book she ever published oh. I, i'm pretty sure that i could be wrong with some of this information so mm. I like screenshot that because obviously 4.01 is which the is average like rating. Pretty decent. Yeah. So this book came out in 2015, by the way. Wow. So it's like eight years old. What were you doing in 2015? Mm, started my masters. Wow. Oh, I'm a little too Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think 4.5. Ooh. Okay. I don't like not knowing whatever I know. <laughs> I know, um, going first. Do is I have a piece explain or do we do that later? Overall, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like a five star feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So cool. I'll say four. I kept comparing it to Powerless. So I think yeah. I just like Powerless more. Okay, yeah. Mm. I'm giving it a four. Mm. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, mm. I thoroughly enjoyed the book. I just four like, is a great rating. Yeah. It's still a great rating, yeah. I just like, kind of don't care about the characters. That's, that's oh, the that thing. Was my thing. Mm. I was just kind of like, oh, like, this is good. I'm not like consumed by them. Mm. Yeah, I kind of was like, I don't really care who she ends up with. No, me neither. I yeah, it wasn't care. very romantic at all. So yeah, I wasn't even thinking about like, it didn't like, um, who, who's she gonna end up with? Like, yeah. like, Butterflies. No, no, no butterflies. Oh, I think I'm gonna settle on a 3.75. Mm, I almost did 3.75. Yeah, I was trying to choose between a 3.75 and a, and a 4. 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just like nothing. nothing. No, that's so true. Oh, yeah, so However, fair. if I had read this one before reading a lot of the other ones that I have yeah. read, would I have loved it way more? Probably. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I don't think it's like the book's fault, it's just like the time that I read it. Yeah. I think my main thing is like, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need to read the next one right now. That's exactly yeah. how I feel. Okay. I'm so excited. Oh I've gone a little rogue. A little rogue. Okay, okay. So I love it. I was reading, I was like, I think this would be a really good. Plus, I think it would be a really good book to discuss. Okay. One of those books. So I'd like you all to close your eyes and put your hands out. Oh. Oh. Then yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay, Already. you can open. Oh. 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 I've never heard of this. Me neither. Is this like non fiction? Yeah. yeah. Our first yes. non fiction. And it's like 200 pages, oh so my I gosh. thought, yeah. I thought like it's going to be easy for everyone to read. Warm, practical, and witty. Are other people just annoying or are you the problem? Yeah. Mm. See what we all take out of it? Yeah. yeah. I agree. That's fun. There's just I'm so, so many so green flags for me about Yay! this. Yay! Yeah. Thanks, Sonny. That's so That's fun. like my like, new year book. 
right now because I'm about to walk into a doctor's appointment and if you have been here for a while you would very much know how much anxiety kind of like health related things and doctor's appointments and just like clinics and everything <laughs> I'm not actually doing anything too anxiety inducing for me today because my main goal for this doctor's appointment it's actually a doctor I've never been to before because obviously we moved so I'm going to a completely new doctor's clinic and seeing a new doctor and stuff and I really really hope that she's good because I would love to just kind of like have a doctor that I can always come back to and like knows me and that I can just be quite comfortable with. I'm kind of just gonna say to her like I have extreme anxiety around things like this so please just really treat me gently. <laughs> just kind of treat me like a five-year-old and then we should be good. But the main reason for this appointment is to get a mental health plan and then find a new therapist. I went to one therapy session last year and I just didn't click with the lady at all. I know that you probably should give someone a couple of sessions before you really know but I just like I don't know I feel like I'm generally pretty good on sensing the kind of vibes and if I'm like going to really like someone and connect with someone pretty early on and I just like didn't feel like that at all. I don't know I just I hear how some people talk about their therapist I'm like that's not how I felt at all in the room. Just felt very like sterile and just like not a good environment. I really want to find a new therapist this year. I honestly think therapy is something that we all should be in. It's kind of like I see it as we can eat healthy and we can go to the gym for like our bodies but what are we doing to keep our mental health healthy and like upkeeping it um like i don't think there has to be specifically anything wrong per se to need therapy i just want to be the most self-aware version of me that i can be there's always little things that i feel like come up even if you don't know that they're a thing you might react in a situation where you're not happy with it at all and i just feel like learning about yourself and learning about how to deal with those emotions just makes you a better person and then it makes you a better friend it makes you a better daughter hopefully a mother one day you know just like it makes you a better person for yourself and for everyone around you which i think is really really important one of my goals which i still want to sit down and talk you through my vision board one of my kind of personal lifestyle goals for the year was to do 10 sessions um 10 therapy sessions which i feel like is pretty good because it's like kind of one a month ish and then it was just kind of getting to mid-gen and i was like we need to find a new doctor and book that appointment in and then i could just see myself not doing it till feb and therapists and psychologists sometimes take quite a while to get into but i'm like i can just see myself pushing it back so i just booked it on monday i think now it's friday so i'm just doing it it's 9 a.m and i wanted to book like an early session so I didn't have to think about it all day. Going to sleep, just thinking about it. And then I got the reminder yesterday at 9 a.m. And I was like, <sighs> like, it's real. Like, I'm, I'm doing it. Which is like, fine. I'm, I'm fine. I got here like half an hour early, just in case. <laughs> and I'm never early. Specifically this early for things. So that's how you know uh, that I'm nervous. Okay. I should probably head in. I hate going to new doctors because you've got to fill out all the forms on like your history and like your parents' history. And that just brings up just a lot. You know when you can just like feel your whole body is nervous. <laughs> okay. I just feel like doctors always want to just test so many things. <laughs> Which like I get it. It's your job. But I'm like don't. Don't ask for tests. I don't want to do them. <laughs>
realized I didn't give you a after doctor's appointment debrief yesterday. I kind of just had a busy rest of my day and then all of a sudden now it's Saturday night and I realized I never kind of had a bit of a chat and like explained it. I've had a lot of experiences in the past with doctors who have treated me and I can imagine how this is easy to do when you're seeing so many different people but have treated me like I don't know like a not a real person and especially I think because I'm like extra extra sensitive when it comes to health things. Them just saying like the facts to me makes me faint like I have fainted in two doctor's appointments in the past so but she was so good she was so gentle plus which is just a crazy fact that like doesn't mean anything but does also she has a daughter who has the exact same birthday as me it's a good sign and I also feel like because she has a daughter my age I'm like you kind of understand the rough things I'd be going through and just kind of like how to talk to someone my age you know what I mean and like fully empathize anyway I have my first therapy appointment booked in with a new therapist in January so before the end of the month I think it's like the 23rd or something so I'm very very happy with that I'm so happy that I've done it in the first month of the year and not put it off for months and months I do have to get some tests done which was expected I was expecting her to be like oh we should test this this is this is wants to get a bunch of my bloods done I have to get an ultrasound and I have to get an internal ultrasound internal so that's gonna be a really fun process yeah not yet I'm still six months away from it but I turned 25 this year so this year is the year of the smear I need to get a skin check I know I feel so good after all of these are done but the idea of them now is just so scary but also no one enjoys them I think it's just like I think I just have this extra level anxiety it's not even well it is the actual process of like getting things tested it's the like getting the results that terrify me if that makes sense and I know why that is it's so scary. but it'll be worth it she was saying which I really was like this makes so much sense but she said in this scenario specifically knowledge will relieve the anxiety you have around your health the more knowledge that you have and the more answers that you get your anxiety will ease the more you know which is like obviously all well and good in theory but terrifying as well but anyway overall it was a really good experience i think she's definitely going to be my doctor going forward i know it might sound stupid but that was a really hard thing and i'm proud of myself for doing it and in the first couple weeks of the year we're getting it done anyway i have pilates booked for 7 30 a.m tomorrow which i'm very excited about so i'm gonna hit the hay. I actually, before I go, I'm going to start a new book tonight, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is one of the books I picked up in New York. This is also the best book I've ever felt in my entire life. Look how floppy it is. Does that not just look so satisfying? Text is beautiful. The pages are amazing. It smells incredible. Like, it smells so booky. I have no idea what this book is about. I'm not reading the back. And I just want to walk in completely blind. I've heard good things. So I'm just trusting. Anyway, so I'm going to start this book. I'm going to try and read until I can't keep my eyes open anymore. Hopefully I have a very good night's sleep. I cut for Pilates. And then I honestly feel so good about this week so far. I feel so much more organized. It's just been a good week in general, I feel. But I want to do the last little things tomorrow. And then I also, which I really today still haven't done. I want to talk you through my vision board. So I'll do that tomorrow. But I'm going to go to sleep. Well, I'm going to read. And then I'm going to go to sleep. See you in the morning. fresh got up and did my sunday morning pilates and i just i love it so much i texted lane last night being like i booked pilates surely you're joining me and she was like absolutely i am we stopped and got a match up on the way home we just kept talking about how much we love our little pilates routine going right now just look forward to going when i haven't gone in a couple days i crave it i just love it. it just makes me feel so good we do a big stretch at the end and i just feel like my body really loves me for it as cheesy as that might sound I've since come home made some breakfast washed my hair put some makeup on i'm 
still loving having the lash lift and tint like I don't have any mascara on right now it's so good it really like you don't expect it but it makes my makeup routine so much quicker not having to put mascara on or really do anything to my brows also I showed you this top at the beginning of the week when I put the black one on this is the brown isn't it so cute I finally wanted to sit down and chat you through the 2023 reflection and then also chat you through my vision board that I made a couple couple weeks ago last week i bought my new journal for 2023 2023 2024 which i haven't really started i've got like a few things already to stick in i also of course had to go red because red is just becoming my personality at this point i started writing just like the highlights and exciting things that happened in each month of 2023 so i'm not sure if this is so boring to listen to but feel free to skip if you are not interested at all but i just really love the idea of appreciating the year that's just passed and having a bit of a reflection because i think it's so easy to be super hard on yourself and compare your life and your achievements to anyone else's you're seeing and obviously this is as i said the highlights i haven't written down the lowest parts of my year in this but i just think it's like a really really nice way to go into a new year by looking back at all of the amazing parts of the past year some of these also are very small things they're not like huge things but just things that i was going through my camera roll to kind of see when things happened and which month they happened in and i just wrote down the things that just made me really happy and brought me a lot of joy so the first one i've got written down for january was work dates with rach we really started off our cafe work dates at the beginning of last year and it just made me so happy happy I always left feeling so motivated and productive and we'd get donuts and coffee and just sit there and work on anything that we had to work on and I loved it so that was one thing that we started I then wrote lots of sunrise beach swims crazy to me that now I can just wake up 10 minutes before I need to go to the beach and be there because I remember waking up at like an hour and a half before sunrise to get to the beach by sunrise February I flew to Melbourne to see Phineas I was in Melbourne for like 12 hours it was very spontaneous Georgia texted me the day of being like I've got a spare ticket do you want to come and see Phineas and I was like absolutely I do so I flew down and I never I knew a few of his songs but after watching him in concert I just became obsessed with him and his music to the point where I think he was my second maybe third top artist of the year so I really just like fell in love with that music and I feel like now listening to his music brings me back to the first few months of last year then I saw Ed Sheeran in concert before last year I'd only been to one or two concerts I'd been to Adele and Sam Smith and that's it in my whole life and last year I really I really went to some concerts and I just feel like I fell in love with them. I've written fell into a really good health and fitness routine. One of my biggest goals for the first few months of last year was just finding a really good fitness routine, being a lot more realistic with my health and fitness and I feel like I did. Of course you go up and down all of the time but I feel like overall last year I really fell into a really good routine. And I got flew to Melbourne to see Harry Styles. And this night was probably one of the best nights of my life. Me and Maddie were right at the front. We were on barricade and it was just an experience that was just a once in a lifetime situation. I already loved him and I already loved his music. But after seeing that concert, I really just like fell headfirst into just like a bit too much of an obsession. He was also my top artist on Spotify of 2024. Um, I also got a tattoo. I got, you can barely see it. I'll put a little photo in. But me and Maddie got matching tattoos. That was in Melbourne as well, the day after we saw Harry Styles. And it was again a very spontaneous thing. We decided about 20 minutes before we went that we were going to go which I don't recommend I don't recommend doing because I did do that with with another tattoo that I'm getting lasered off but we had one of this specific tattoo for like over a year we just decided to book the appointment about 10 minutes before and I wrote saw Harry Styles again oops so I then went to his Gold Coast show with a big group which was just amazing we couldn't see him at all but just just the whole atmosphere is just amazing In March I have dyed my hair brown which after being blonde for basically my whole life felt like a huge identity change and I loved it. I feel like it really suits me. I think because my eyebrows are dark, it just looks natural. Um, I've also got started Magnolia Parks, which was a whole, a whole experience in itself. April, I surprised Rach for her birthday with a little hotel stay. This was like a really low time of the year for me. I was just going through a lot of anxiety. I was not sleeping at all. I had awful insomnia. I was getting shortness of breath. I was just going through like a downward spiral, but I wrote, push through my fears with doctors. I wouldn't say I I like mastered my fears with them but I had to go to a lot of doctor's appointments and, and get a few tests done that scared the absolute shit out of me but I pushed through and I did them obviously I was talking about this this week I have major anxiety about 
health related things and every single test came back completely fine and I, I was fine and so yeah not like something that I've completely mastered but something I took the first kind of like stepping stones in the I've also written fell in love with reading this is also the month that I started the Akatar series I've always loved reading but I've really gone in and out of being obsessed with it and then maybe going back to reading like one book every couple months or something like that but I feel like April was the month I really like fell in love with reading I think I read six books in the month or something which I know to a lot of people isn't a, isn't a lot but that's a lot for me I've also written down lots of sleepovers there was a time where I was coming from Brisbane to the Gold Coast lots and just having lots of girly little sleepovers and my friends and I kept saying how we're just embracing being teenagers in our 20s and just having fun sleepovers and baking cookies and reading. I feel like we really started that last year and I just love it so much. May I started with Posse, my new management, which was a step that I really wanted to make and it's crazy just how I feel about my career and the things that have happened since moving with Posse and Lang becoming my momager. The girls also surprised me with an early birthday night because I was going to be away for my birthday so they surprised me with a paint and sip and a cake and everything which I was not expecting at all. I feel like usually I'm aware of what's going on but I had no idea. I also read Happy Place which was one of my favourite reads of last year as well. June I travelled the whole month with Sam in Europe which was incredible. I reached 100k on Instagram which I know is kind of like a silly milestone but it was still really exciting and something that I feel like younger me would be like that is not real. I spent my 24th birthday on the Amalfi Coast. Did get food poisoning the night off but the actual day was amazing. June 26th I got engaged in Greece and it was it would have to be one of the best days of my life it was just so I don't know even thinking back to it it just feels like a fever dream like it's just not real and I'm so glad Sam decided to film it because I love watching it back it gives me goosebumps every single time I watch it July we summered in the south of France um, I saw the Barbie movie went to the Barbie premiere and I loved it I also read Daisy Hates the last book in the Magnolia Park series and that rocked my world. I saw the Matildas play September, cut my hair short and dark, and then also had one of the best and most amazing experiences of my life, working with Jetstar and going to South Korea. Probably one of the highlights of my career so far. October, I read Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. I also read Powerless, which again rocked my world. I worked with Spotify promoting their new audiobooks which was a huge a huge career win. Don't think I can say this yet which I know is so annoying but the contracts haven't been signed yet but I had probably the most exciting meeting of my life and probably like my top goals with my career. I had a meeting that kind of is like making this real. November we found out we were moving to the Gold Coast and then we moved to the Gold Coast which was a goal all of last year so it was so so exciting to be able to do that before the end of the year and then Georgia and I went back to London for a Christmas trip. December we were still traveling we went to Disneyland Paris. We sang Christmas carols on the street, which was one of the best moments of my life. Went to Edinburgh, and I've never felt so festive in my entire life. I proposed to my maids of honor, which was very exciting. And then we had a week in New York City. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me. I know you can't really see me, but I'm editing this clip. And I think because I was rushing, because I needed to leave the house, I was rushing talking through December. And I was just like, oh, and then we just had a week in New York City. Like it's some casual thing. Actually, no, it was the most surreal week. And I cannot believe that I was in New York and it was so crazy. Okay, I just watching this back being like, why do I sound like it was not even exciting? Anyway, that's all. I really thought that was going to be really quick. <laughs> I have been recording for 20 minutes. But vision board. This is my vision board of 2024. This is more so my personal vision board of 2024. I think we're going to make more so. The plan is to do separate business career vision board. So this is more just lifestyle and personal life, but I'll go through the images with you. Up the top here, we have a wedding band and then a wedding dress because I'm hoping this is the year that I find my wedding dress, which is crazy to say. And I also want to buy my wedding band this year as well. This is kind of clear skin motivation and just like self-care in general, matcha and reading, having fun with my fashion, reading, book shopping, a bath because I haven't had a bath where I've lived in years and baths just make me incredibly happy. So I want to have a lot of baths. Then we have this little beach photo shoot because Sam and I really want to do a bit of an engagement photo shoot. Tana was very late, but more so just for the wedding invites and stuff. I want to really enjoy my slow morning. So I feel like that kind of encapsulates that for me. I'm turning 25 this year, so that's just that's just a pancake cake. <laughs> I just love the photo off. This is like hosting, having just like a lot of fun nights in with friends. Oh. I almost spilled my matcha. This is the Eras Tour, which is next month. I also really want to scrapbook my whole year. It's like inspiration for the scrapbook. That's kind of like style and lifestyle. That's just like recording, recording my life. Embracing girlhood, obviously. Little weekend trips away with friends. This is ballet. Which I would absolutely love to start doing some classes of. This is kind of just cute and I put it with like all the wedding stuff because it's kind of just like relationship and 
all of that. Oh, and then this one's traveling in general. But yeah, that's my 2024 vision board. I love it so much. Whenever I walk past it and see it, it just makes me so happy. And I feel like that is the best kind of vision board to have. So yeah, those are my 2023 reflections and my 2024 vision board. I really want to sit down at some point. I'm not going to have time today, but I really want to sit down and talk through all of my 2024 goals in depth, maybe in a separate video or something. Mostly because I love going back and watching them at the end of the year and seeing what I managed to accomplish. Maybe kind of talk through my last year's goals and, and seeing what I ticked off of those as well. But I don't have time for that today. And I know this video is probably already very, very long. So I'm going to end it off here. Thank you so, so much for coming back in the new year. Or if this happens to be your first video you're watching of mine, I'm very happy you're here and I hope you enjoyed. I'm so grateful for all of you for allowing me to do my dream job for another year. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I don't want this video to actually be an hour long, but I will see you next week. Bye.